guys okay so today i did this look for you guys it's kind of like a rose gold valentine's day look i wanted to keep it a little softer there's so much fun things you can do for valentine's day like a darker lip and stuff like that but i wanted to do something really light for this look it's like really pretty and soft and glittery and blah 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 let's just get started Okay, so since I know this look isn't going to be like too dark or too crazy with too much fallout, I'm just going to start off by priming my face. I'm using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I just like to press it into this area because this is where I have my pores showing the most. So for foundation today, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow and Pro Matte. I like to mix them together. I just feel like they work really, really good together. This makes me look like a dweeb, but I need to put my hair back. <sighs> For concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer. And I'm just going to put that under my eyes. And then to set, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder for my under eyes. So now we're going to move into the eyes and I thought for like a soft glam Valentine's Day look, the perfect palette to use was the Urban Decay Naked 3. This is before the heat palette came out, this one was my favorite. It's just so different. I don't have any other palettes like it. Alright, so I'm going to zoom you in. I'm going to start off with Nooner and I'm just going to put that in my crease. The secret to that really well blended transition color is to use a really big fluffy brush like this one. Okay, so next I'm going to take the shade Factory and I'm going to focus that on the outer corner of my eye. This is just going to build some depth into your eye. I'm going to take the shade Strange and I'm just going to set my under, like br under my brows with that color. Okay, so next I'm going to take the shade Buzz and I'm going to pat that on my eyelid. I am going to put a color over it, but I do want a nice base color first. So next I'm going to dip into Buzz and I'm going to highlight my inner corner and right underneath my brow bone. This is just going to brighten up the eyes. Okay, and for the under eye, I'm going to start off with Nooner on my lower lash line. I'm going to take some of Buzz now, and I'm going to kind of put them in the inner part of my lower lash line. Okay, so this is what's going to give it that super Valentine's-y look. I'm taking the Stila Magnificence Metals. Wait, Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. There's one product you need to know it's this product I love this this is in the shade rose gold I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelid basically and before it dries I'm gonna take my finger just kind of blend it out a little bit okay so we're done with the eyes for now I'm going to go on to finish the face and then we'll go back to the eyes I'm just gonna so to set the rest of my face, I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish. Uh, I just want a little bit of extra coverage, so that's why I'm using a powder foundation. Okay, so I'm dipping into my Benefit Cheek Parade Palette thingamabobber, and I'm going to take the Hula Light, and I'm going to use that as my bronzer today. And I just apply it as a typical bronzer color in that kind of three shape. I really wanted like a soft light pink blush, you know, to go with the Valentine's Day theme. So I thought dandelion in this palette would be perfect. See, it's so subtle but so pretty. I like it. And then for highlight, I wanted to do something more pinky. So I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade molten rose gold i think it just fits with the whole theme of this look so to set my face makeup today i'm using the cover fx illuminating setting spray i just wanted something a little bit more illuminating to be a little bit more glowy 
So back to the eyes. Um, I'm going to line my waterline with a white eyeliner because I feel like that's just really going to open up the eyes. I use the Sephora... I don't even know what this is. Oh, Colorful Shadow and Liner in the shade Let It Snow. So I'm just going to do a thin line on my upper lash line so that you can't see the lash band when I put the lashes on, you know? I'm just using the MAC Blackjack Blue line. Now I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on. I'm just using Maybelline Lash Discovery and L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. No! I already ate! Uh huh! For lashes today, I think I'm going to use the Andrea 45 lashes. They're like really long and like thin. I don't know. I just feel like it's look really nice with this look. So for lips, I want to do like a light pink lip. So I'm using Max Politely Pink Lipstick and the Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Princess. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. And I just wanted to say a quick thank you because, well, I was going to say thank you for 100 subscribers, but now I have 150. <laughs> Which is crazy, it happened in like a week or two. I don't know, I feel like that's really good. I'm proud of myself. So yeah, thank you for 150 subscribers and um, keep the video ideas coming. If I haven't gotten to your video request yet, I'm sorry, it takes a really long time to make these. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. You learned a thing or two and whatever, whatever. All right, have a good day, bye.